Lesson 12.7, use Google Sentiment Analysis API. Google also has some really powerful AI APIs. In this case, let's look at the Cloud Natural Language API. Inside, they also have the ability to do similar text processing capabilities that we've explored in previous lessons. Let's go through and try the API from the console. Let's go through and look at some random text from ESPN. Let's go through here and let's look at this last game where there appeared to be some excitement in the NBA playoffs. And we'll paste in the text and see if we can determine what happened. When we do an analysis, we can see that it was able to highlight several keywords. We saw that Tristan, Tom, Tristan, Tristan Thompson, who was a player on the Cleveland Cavaliers, was identified. It was able to find a Wikipedia article. We knew that it was talking about a game. It found Golden State Warriors. It found Oakland. It also found that it also found that somebody was potentially going to be suspended from the game. So we're able to find some really interesting statistics by just using off-of-the-shelf web API that Google provides for natural language processing. You can see it's a very comprehensive uh, output with many really interesting things to play around with. Now let's go and see if we can use it from the terminal. Google Cloud has an ML command line terminal that allows us to also execute similar codes. In this case, I'm going to use gcloud ML language analyze entities, and I'm going to ask it to analyze any entities it finds in this phrase, LeBron James plays for the Cleveland Cavaliers. When I execute, it's able to actually identify a couple of different entities. It finds LeBron James to be an entity, and it's able to automatically find the Wikipedia URL associated with LeBron James. And it's able to find this with a really high degree of certainty. It also finds Cleveland Cavaliers, and it notices that they also have a Wikipedia page. And you can see that it was able to classify this as an organization where LeBron James was classified as a person. Let me just call this out real quick and explain how powerful this really is. A lot of times when you're doing a machine learning project, you may need to figure out how to discover more information about a project or create your own labels. And by using an API like this, you could actually use it as a way of labeling your data by finding out descriptive statistics and descriptive information about an entity. So in some cases, even though the, a the AI is already baked for you, you can use this AI in your own machine learning pipeline. Let's take it a little bit further, though, and let's see how we could use this inside of Jupyter Notebook. Let's go ahead and run Jupyter Notebook. So let's go inside and look at these notebooks. Inside I see there's an NLP GCP notebook. Now that we've launched this Jupyter Notebook, we can see that it's got some documentation about how to run the Google Cloud from the command line, which we've already done. But let's see how we can do it from Python. To use the Python API, first we need to make sure that we've exported the Google application credentials. These are stored in my home directory in a JSON file. You would need to refer to the official documentation to do this yourself. Next, let's go through and let's run this import. Inside this import, we're able to then go ahead and put the same text, but we'll use it via Python code in an API call. And now you can see that it's able to return back an array of very similar items, and now I can programmatically control this content and move it into a script. As I mentioned earlier, this is a really powerful feature that many machine learning practitioners may wish to use in their machine learning algorithms and their own company is use an off-the-shelf API component to add a little bit of a turbo boost to your own machine learning workflow.